Hello and welcome to AJ Science Seekers. Through this video, I will introduce some basics about microarray. Over the past 15 years, microarray technology have been integrated into research involving the relationship of genotype and gene expression. Before starting the main concept, let's quickly review about human genome. So, humans have 23 pairs of chromosomes that are packaged by protein into condensed structure called chromatin which allow very long DNA molecule to fit into the cell nucleus. Human genome consists of approximately 20,000 protein coding genes each consisting of a sequences of uh, bases which comprises the hereditary material DNA. It means to identify any changes in the genome like loss or gain of any segment we need to open up the nucleus and take out the chromosome and search for that aberration. Chromosome cannot be seen with the naked eye but if they are stained and seen under microscope it is possible to see that each one has a distinctive pattern of light and dark bands that look like horizontal stripes. This could be seen in the uh, video also. Scientists use three key features size, banding pattern and centromere position to identify their uh, similarities and differences in a technique called karyotyping. Karyotyping could identify the structural or numerical aberrations. So why we need a technique when karyotyping is quite good? Karyotyping is only good as a resolution of the microscope and is not able to detect subtle chromosomal changes. Now a flashback. In 1969, DNA was first isolated by Frederick Mischer. In early 1950s, Rosalind Franklin studied DNA uh, using X-rays and in 1953, James Watson and Crick uh, marked a milestone in the history of science by discovering the double helix structure of DNA. In 1956, Joy Hintijo established a protocol of uh, karyotyping and confirm that human chromosome number is 46 instead of 47. In 1975, Edwin Southern introduced Southern blotting for detection of a specific DNA sequence in DNA sample. An important uh, discovery PCR by Kalineolis in 1985 and before that uh, fish that uses uh, the fluorescent uh, probes and sequence uh, complementarity was developed in 1980s. Following all these discoveries, microarray was sprouting in early 90s when researchers were finding a new technique which could uh, work at micro level and find out the subtle changes happen in genome. Microarray has an improved resolution compared to these uh, techniques like uh, karyotyping and fish. Mark Skinner was proclaimed as father of microarray technology. In this video, I focus only on uh, DNA microarray. As we all know, DNA is a double helix molecule in which two strands uh, are bound specifically to each other. Here, each strand is made up of four bases, adenine, guanine, cytosine and thiamine, which are linked end to end and the two strands in DNA molecule bind with each other by hydrogen bonding between bases, where adenine will always bind with the uh, thiamine and guanine always pair with cytosine and this hybridization or uh, binding property is a key uh, point of microarray. Based on the types of probes used in microarray, there are different types like DNA microarray where it either measures DNA or uses DNA as a part of detection system. There are types of DNA microarray also. cDNA microarray where mRNA samples are reverse transcribed to cDNA and these cDNA are immobilized on the glass slide. Oligonucleotide microarray where short DNA oligonucleotide are spotted on the array and SNP microarray where single base uh, difference between two sequences uh, which known as single nucleotide polymorphism is detected. Other than DNA microarrays, there are protein microarrays, peptide microarrays, tissue microarrays, cellular microarrays, antibody microarrays, carbohydrate microarrays, etc. according to the probe uh, which is used for the detection. Here are two approaches to design the microarrays for application whole genome which are designed to cover the entire human genome 
targeted where arrays are designed for a specific region of the genome for the purpose of evaluating the uh, that targeted uh, segments in dna microarray the solid support is glass or silicon slide on which a collection of microscopic dna spots are attached each spot uh, represent a single gene which carry dna uh, segments known as uh, probes and these spots are also called features DNA sequences may be larger or shorter depending on the desired purpose. Longer probes are more specific uh, to individual target genes. Shorter probes may be spotted in higher density across the array and are cheaper to manufacture. DNA microarray measures the expression level of uh, thousands of genes together. Comparative genomic hybridization is a molecular cytogenetic technique for analyzing copy number variation. In uh, conventional uh, comparative genomic hybridization, uh, the target is a reference metaphase spread uh, and in RACGH, the metaphase of, uh, uh, metaphases are replaced uh, by DNA fragments of approximately 100 to 200 KB of which exact chromosome uh, location is known. This method allows for exploration of uh, all 46 human chromosomes in a single test. The first step is the chopping up of DNA into fragments by the application of restriction enzyme and this action is can, could be uh, checked by the gel electrophoresis. Then uh, these uh, fragments are uh, labeled with colored fluorescent dye. DNA from a reference sample and DNA from a test samples are differentially labeled with uh, two different fluorophores cyanin 3 that is green in color and cyanin 5 that is red in color. DNA from a uh, pool of uh, normal people is used as a reference and is labeled as um, with red fluorophore uh, cyanin 5 and, uh, and uh, DNA to be tested is labeled with green fluorophore cyanin 3. Equal quantities of both reference DNA and sample DNA are mixed and co-hybridized to DNA microarray on slides and this complex mixture of sequence then allowed to hybridize competitively to the DNA probes on uh, the array for up to 24 hours. Uh, the non-hybridized DNA is washed off the slide and the intensity of the fluorescence is measured. This type of picture produced which uh, contain red, green and yellow colored spots. Red dots uh, shows reference because of our reference DNA labeled by red fluorophore. This means our uh, reference DNA binds to the uh, group of specific genes instead of the sample DNA and showed the loss or deletion in the sample. Green dots showed uh, sample DNA hybridization with uh, probes and indicate gain or an amplification. If yellow dots appear that means both hybridize equally and indicate normal and black region showed no hybridization. CGH is uh, a type of fluorescence in situ hybridization technique that compares and measures differences in copy number changes and um, uh, uh, b uh, between two uh, DNA sample that is reference and uh, sample DNA. The data uh, produced from a micro experiment typically constitute a long uh, list of measurements of spot intensities and intensity ratios. The challenge is to sort uh, through these dat data uh, to find meaningful results for data analysis special software and uh, scanners are used. Then each spot or feature is analyzed for feature extraction process which involves defining the grid and identifying uh, each feature of an array then computing an intensity value for each feature by deducting background noise data normalization is also done and clustering algorithm is used um, then 
the log ratio between reference and sample DNA is calculated and uh, uh, the according to log ratio the area of deletion and gain was uh, spotted is spotted then available uh, uh, data on the internet is has been correlated uh, through using uh, the gene browsing tools RACGH is a significant advance in technology that allows detection of uh, chromosomal imbalances that are too small and to be detected by microscope uh, and uh, comparative genomic hybridization is not good for the detection of uh, mosaicism, balance translocation and inversion. Although uh, CGH has proven to be useful and reliable uh, technique in research and diagnostic of both cancer and human uh, genetic disorder. Hope this video is helpful for understanding microarray. See you. Thanks.